day. Dear family and friends, we have gathered here today to joyfully acknowledge the wedding of Harry and Christina. They have requested your presence on this memorable occasion in order that you might share with them the pledging of their everlasting love on this day of commitment. The commitment of marriage is one of the most important decisions the two of you will make in your lives. The vow of marriage is a pledge of everlasting love, uniting you in matrimony, whereby you commit to share all life has to offer, good times and bad, with patience and understanding. For a marriage to remain strong, your faith was never wavered due to the trials and tribulations of everyday life. Remember, the power of faith can conquer many obstacles. A strong, successful marriage is dependent upon many factors. Beyond the love and respect that you share for one another, there must be a strong sense of commitment and loyalty, a true friendship, a willingness to communicate with one another, a genuine like for each other. You guys like one another. <laughs> okay. That's the most common answer. Okay. You're ready for marriage then. Uh, and the willingness to accept and understand each other's strengths and weaknesses. The vows that you're about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of the love that you pledge to each other. For it is not in the words that you speak today that bind you together as one, but the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your soul. Okay, you're not saved by the bell there. <laughs> okay. Harry, do you take Christina to be your wedded wife? Will you love, comfort, honor, and respect her? Will you share all life has to offer, your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with her from this day forward? I do. Very good. Christina, do you take Harry to be your wedded husband? Will you love, comfort, honor, and respect him? Will you share all life has to offer, your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with him from this day forward? I do. You're a lucky man, Harry. The wedding ring is in a broken circle that symbolizes unending and everlasting love. It's a viable symbol that represents your inner commitment to one another. May your life together be blessed with everlasting happiness. Do we have rings? I need her ring first. Oh, her ring. Oh, thank you very much. Harry, please place this on her finger and repeat after me. With this ring, this ring. I be wed. I be wed and offered as a symbol, and offered as a symbol of my everlasting love. Of my love. everlasting love. Very good. Okay. Good work there. Okay. Your turn, Christina. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed and offered as a symbol, and offered as a symbol of my everlasting love. Of my everlasting love. Very good. Okay, guys. Harry, let me see your ring. Let me see your ring. This is pretty good. work. Okay. How you guys feel now? Good. Good. All right, we're almost there. Okay. All right. <laughs> For as much as both Harry and Christina have consented in matrimony and have witnessed the same before God in this company and a guy that keeps calling on his phone and have declared the same by joining hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I do therefore, but the authority invested in me as the mayor of the township of Pennsauken and the laws of state in New Jersey, pronounce you, Harry, and you, Christina, husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. I bet a big round of applause. Yeah!